I'm Roger with Synthesizer.com and here's a tour of the Q179 Envelope++ Plus Plus module. The Q179 Envelope++ Plus Plus module has three modes. The top position of the mode switch is full featured envelope mode. The middle position is dual envelopes and the bottom position is a four step sequencer. We'll start with full featured envelope mode and we'll add some gates and we'll look at our outputs. We have a positive output and a negative output. We'll look at our gate here. The bottom trace here is our gate and the top is our envelope. Notice we're in linear curve mode. We have other types of curves also. Exponential. And in the middle we have three other curves. We have logarithmic, which is the opposite of exponential. We have bumpy. And we have peaky. So we'll do our testing on Expo. Now we have control over the sustained level. This switch gives us control over the sustained time also. Now this knob controls the length of the sustain. The bottom knob can be used for three different purposes. In the top position, it controls release, just like on a normal envelope generator. Here's a short release and a long release. All of these times go from one millisecond to a hundred seconds. In the middle position is the attack, peak, hold time. And this knob controls that flat spot at the top of the attack peak. In the bottom position we have a delay which controls the delay between the gate rising edge and when the envelope starts. Now we also have control over the amplitude of the envelope generator. And we can patch an LFO into that and get some interesting things. Or you can control that with on velocity from your keyboard for a very expressive playing. Now without the gate in, we automatically loop. So now we're controlling the sustained time. And we can control delay. This is the bottom part here, the delay between starting a new cycle and hold, which is up here. Now we have a gated looping mode, which means that when a gate is in, it loops, and when a gate is off, it doesn't. So now we're in gated looping mode. our second output to control the filter. And all the curves are available in gated looping mode. Now let's try dual envelope mode. 
the mode switch's middle position turns on dual envelope mode, and we have the first two knobs control the plus output, and the second two knobs controls an envelope at the minus output. Now in this case, we're in gated looping mode. We're going to switch up to the normal mode. Now we have our first envelope. We have control over attack and decay. And this switch turns it into a, an attack, sustain, release envelope. We still have control over our curves. There's exponential. There's peaky. There's logarithmic. And there's bumpy. Now we have a second envelope also that's gated at the same time and its output goes to the minus output and we can control it completely separately. Now this second envelope has some interesting features also. It's the same features as on the full featured envelope mode. We have control over the attack peak hold time. And that's this right here. Here's our release and delay, which is the delay between the starting of the first envelope and the second. And you can hear that in the filter here. Now in gated looping mode, we can loop according to the gate. So whenever a gate is high, we get an envelope. And the second envelope will also loop within the first envelope. Here's a linear curve in the exponential. Now, without a gate in, we automatically loop. And the loop speed is controlled by the length of the first envelope. So here's the first envelope, and the second envelope generator loops within that first envelope. In dual envelope mode, the amp input controls the amplitude of the first envelope. Also in dual envelope mode, you have voltage control over the attack and the delay and release portions. Okay, now we're going to go to four-step sequencer mode, which is the bottom position of the mode switch. And then we have steps one, two, three, and four of a four-step sequence. Now these knobs are each a two octave range from zero to two, and they're quantized in one twelfth volt semitone steps. So programming is very easy for a one volt per octave synthesizer. Now if we take our source of gates out, we have an internal clock from the fourth knob, and the fourth knob becomes zero. Now the curve switch gives us a pattern 
In the up position, it's an up pattern, one, two, three, four. In the middle position, it's random. And in the bottom position, it's up, down. Now with the source of gates, in the middle position on the speed, we have a divide by four and a divide by six on the slope speed. And that's with the gate through out. The amp input is a transposition for the entire sequence. And you can plug a keyboard in there and create arpeggiations. The minus output is a done output, which can be used with another sequencer, another Q179, to daisy chain Q179s together to get as many steps as you want. And that done output is used in conjunction with this jack, which is the start input.